Army Depot in Herlong, California, the leader in safe munition storage and explosives demolition. Sierra has a 40-year history of efficient productivity. We issue, ship, and receive a variety of munitions for all branches of the armed forces. We safely store munitions, missiles, and special weapon systems. Sierra renovates old munitions back to like new condition and also performs maintenance to meet new mission demands. We demilitarize obsolete, surplus, and unstable munitions which have surpassed their intended shelf life. We also conduct surveillance tests and quality assurance programs on munitions held in storage. Statistics show Sierra performs these tasks at a higher capacity and a substantially lower cost than any other depot in the system. You are about to see routine tasks that other depots could never hope to achieve. What competitors do in a week, we do in a single day. And we do it every day. That's why demolition experts the world over have been coming to Sierra Army Depot to learn from the experts and to follow the leader. Sierra is one of the nation's most ideal locations for long-term storage of munitions. Low annual rainfall minimizes deterioration of all munition components. Located in a remote corner of Honey Lake Valley, the depot is far removed from population centers. Depot missions are protected by several security systems. The nearest population center, Susanville, California, lies 30 miles distance to the north. Um, like if there's floods or anything, like Susanville had floods earlier this year, and we were there helping them, the depot was. We have, you know, support groups, you know, everyone goes and does things like that, and it's really, they're, we're a real tight-knit, you know, community, and I really enjoy that. We're always there for everybody. Sierra is positioned for fast deployment to all West Coast ports. The depot is connected by several all-weather highways and to nearby Interstate 80 in Reno, Nevada. Sierra is the only depot in the nation served by two transcontinental railroads. And our own rail system has been completely refurbished with new rails, grade crossings, and switches. The depot even has its own lighted airfield capable of handling any DOD aircraft, including the C-141, the C-5A, and the C-17. By truck, rail, or air, we have an enormous capacity to move munitions rapidly to the ports of Concord, Oakland, and Travis Air Force Base. During Desert Storm, Sierra loaded out over 150 rail cars in just four weeks and hundreds of trucks in record time. The depot has long been the Navy's designated safe haven for munition-laden rail cars. Demolition, known here as D-Mill, is what sets Sierra apart from all other depots in the nation. When it comes to detonation capacity and cost of operation, no competitor comes even close. Ammunition does not last forever. If left unattended, it can, over time, become dangerously unstable, even to the touch. As missiles and rocket motor delivery systems become obsolete, they too must be destroyed. Currently, disarmament treaties mandate the destruction of several large rocket motors. Sierra personnel first wrote the procedures book for destroying rocket motors on the Poseidon, Nike, Hercules, Minuteman, and Tomahawk missiles. Sierra is home to the most advanced team of certified explosive handlers. In 40 years, Sierra Army Depot has not suffered a single explosive fatality. Not one. Sierra first validated procedures for destroying rocket motors through controlled burning. Today, this busy installation has the largest D-mill workload mission in the entire depot system. Every year, Sierra meets and exceeds its DOD workload mission. We destroy more material for less money than any other depot. When munitions first arrive at the depot, each shipment passes through shipping and receiving. After being safety checked, trucks like this are pulled into a special holding area where contents are verified and assigned a storage location. If inspection shows that incoming ammunition is too volatile, it is sent to D-Mill for destruction. Munitions prepared for shipment are carefully inventoried for accuracy and accountability. 
contents are securely packaged and correctly labeled with safety warning labels. These strange looking mounds of earth are igloos. Munitions valued at over $1.6 billion are stored here. The igloos represent almost 2 million square feet of covered storage. Protected by ground cover, the igloos stay warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Static discharge lines safely eliminate any difference in electrical ground potential. Some igloos are equipped with double safety door entries. Summer humidity is extremely low, providing ideal long-term storage conditions. The igloos are in excellent condition, expected to last for many more years. Periodically, ammo and storage is surveillance checked to ensure operational integrity. Sierra is now completing a modern new quality surveillance center. Munition renovation has saved the Department of Defense millions of dollars annually. These cartridge belts will soon return to active duty roster. Through maintenance, some munitions are reconfigured to serve a new mission. Handlers are preparing these shells for demilitarization. Fuses and igniters are removed and bundled for counting. Shell casings are permanently altered and then sold for scrap. Gunpowder and propellant is pulled off by a vacuum recovery system. The material is then weighed to make certain of absolute lot accountability. Personnel who handle ammunition must pass four weeks of intensive training. This facility is constantly monitored by a rapid response water deluge system. If sensors pick up so much as a single spark, pumps will drop 250 gallons of water per second until the system is turned off. Small rounds up to 50 caliber are destroyed in this environmentally controlled deactivation furnace. Inside, tremendous heat virtually pops the gunpowder inside the projectile. The brass case is destroyed and the lead is melted down into ingots. A new environmental afterburner destroys all byproducts with 1400 degree temperatures. This deactivation furnace is the first in the depot system to be licensed for operational status. Sierra has the advantage. We do it larger, cheaper, faster than any depot in the country. This range validates most of the procedures for the rest of the world. People come here to do their tests and we knock out the safety parameters for the people that come to do the tests. During Desert Shield and Desert Storm, we were doing six day weeks, 12, 14, 16 hour days. We were working under the lights in the dark. Uh, all our shipments went out on time, if not ahead of schedule. Sierra Army Depot has the highest demolition capacity of any depot in the system. In fact, 30 times greater than the nearest competitor. While most depots are restricted to underground detonations, Sierra is licensed to detonate and burn above ground. Sierra monitors noise levels, wind direction, and other concerns for public safety. These 14 blast and burn pits are far removed from the rest of the depot. We are licensed to detonate 10,000 pounds of net explosive weight per pit. Nobody else even comes close. Sierra is currently authorized to open burn up to 100,000 pounds of net explosive weight per pit. Soon, we will be licensed by the California EPA to burn 160,000 pounds. No other depot has the capacity and efficiency of Sierra. In 1995, we will detonate over 28,245 short tons. When Polaris rocket motors had to be destroyed under the START Treaty, 
Sierra was the only depot in the United States authorized or capable of doing open rocket motor burns. Last year, Sierra performed 31.6% of the entire D-mill operations for the Department of Defense. Clearly, Sierra leads the mission. Soon, Sierra expects to receive a new 10-year permit from the California EPA to detonate and burn at even larger capacities. Fire no! We do it right the first time. We stack it and shape it. We blow it up. It's a blast. We blow the doors off the competition. We, we do, do more with C4. All right. <laughs> That's bad. Sierra has always been the leading validation center for all D-mill procedures. Our personnel are certified by the Army as expert demolition and munition handlers. D-mill returned a $2.5 million profit last year alone because Sierra does it larger, faster, and cheaper than any other depot. For the last five years, these men and women have worked six-day weeks and 10-hour shifts just to keep up. And yet, the workload is only increasing. The facts speak for themselves. Sierra has the lowest cost per hour, the lowest cost per ton in the entire depot system. And our D-mill cost is forecast to drop even lower in 1996 as permitting allows us to demill even more material every day. We're here and we're up and running now with excellent refurbished equipment. We have the personnel. We have the systems. We have the capacity. We have the efficiency. And we have the desire. Follow the leader through the 90s. Sierra Army Depot, the center for technical excellence.